Hey guys, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather. And this first week of 2022 is going to favor the Pacific Northwest, BC, and then the northern tier of states eventually. And then after that, parts of northern Utah in the central and northern mountains of Colorado. Let me show you where it's snowing right now. Jet stream is blasting the Pacific Northwest. Look at the wind and snow up in Whistler, Blackcomb. I've got big totals over the next seven to eight days for the Pacific Northwest and interior BC as well. Um, in Colorado, our nine day storm cycle has moved through. Now we've got blue skies. This is Steamboat, uh, magnificent view. You can see the gondola running right there. I chose Steamboat because I think that's one of the places in Colorado that will start to really benefit on the fourth or later after the storm track begins to shift south and nail the central and northern mountains of Colorado. So. Looking good there right now. Let me show you the setup. And this is what it's all about. This trough of low pressure, you can see the low, the pressures will continue to drop in this area. And this is the same type of thing, very similar to what we saw develop and then basically push through that nine day storm cycle across California, Utah, Colorado, and New Mexico. This is not as big, but it's still significant. There's another low back here, which will also be part of the equation because the storm track looks like this. It's moving up and then it's dropping down and building this trough and then the jets just ramming into the Pacific Northwest in BC and nailing that area. So all the energy will come up over and then dump into this trough and then little pieces will eject into the Pacific Northwest and nail that area. Here's the target zone. It's this. It's BC. It's the Pacific Northwest, Oregon, Washington State, Idaho, Montana, and Wyoming for the time being. This first week, this is where the biggest totals are going to be. Then on the fourth or later, the curtain will drop down into northern Utah and into the central and northern mountains of Colorado, and that's where the snow will then start to track. So we've got some good snow ahead here with this storm track. Uh, let me show you the potential future position of this. This is the GFS American model. Let me take you into Monday morning. Look at the heavy snow in Oregon, Washington State, and into BC. That's where it's happening. All right, let me take you from Monday into Tuesday morning. Look at that snow transitions into Idaho, northern Idaho, into western Montana, and then down into the Tetons, and also by Tuesday morning into the Wasatch. And between Tuesday and Wednesday into parts of the central and northern mountains of Colorado, there's Wednesday morning right there. You can see kind of a northwest flow pattern setting up through Idaho and down into uh, the central and northern mountains of Colorado, the Tetons, the Wasatch. Let me take you into Thursday morning, still in many of those same areas, but a new low hitting the Pacific Northwest. All told between basically now and the 9th or 10th, there's probably three or four different storm systems that will come out of that trough and nail the Pacific Northwest. So, got big total. So there's Thursday morning. Look at that flow, just absolutely slamming the Tetons. All right, dropping uh, into Friday morning, still snowing in the Tetons. Um, and then uh, let's take it into Saturday morning. Look at that snow dropping down into the Wasatch. Again, brushing Colorado. There's Saturday morning, and then it all exits. So we've got a good lineup between now and Saturday as it looks. I'm going to do my totals in two different time frames. So between basically all of today through the 4th. This is where the biggest totals are going to be up in the Pacific Northwest from Shasta to Bachelor, Timberline, Stevens, Baker, Whistler into interior BC. And some moderate snows there as well into Wyoming, Idaho, and Montana. And a pretty good shot of snow right there um, if we can get just the right wind direction into the, uh, the Wasatch and just a little bit of that snow starting up in the northern mountains of Colorado. That's phase one. You know, here is timetable two between basically the 5th and the 10th and significant snows. Uh, through the Tetons and the Wasatch and the central and northern mountains of Colorado. I'd say one to two feet I-70 from basically from Crested Butte up to I-70, Aspen Snowmass, Vale, Loveland, all the way up into the northern mountains, one to two feet, less to the south. Um, I basically put a, a, a foot down on the first time period in the Wasatch and then another two feet, so we're looking at three feet in the Wasatch in that time period, three to four feet across the Tetons. And I think we could see a four foot amount, maybe even 50 inches. And I'll show you my plume for Jackson Hole coming up high on Rendezvous Mountain. I think we could see some big time totals. Um, but again, that's running all the way through the 9th and 10th. Um, still looking at heavy snow up there in the Pacific Northwest, interior BC. Look at Brundage up to Schweitzer, Discovery. Good snow through this time period. 
All right, let me show you my uh, snow plume for Jackson Hole. And I think this is possible. This may not be totally widespread, but high on Rendezvous Mountain, I think it's possible we get to 40, 50 inches from 7, 8, 9, 10. I think we could be pushing totals like that um, in excess of 3 feet. If we, can, if we can get the right northwest flow into that area, I think it'll happen. So that's a possibility. Let me just show you again. So there's phase one today through the fourth, and then phase two is right here. And this will take us through the ninth and 10th. You can see we've got some big powder days ahead, um, a lot to look forward to. I'll keep things updated right here. I hope everyone is having a great New Year's. Take care.